Hey guys, so today we are going to be having a bit of a story time, but it is for adults. So if you guys know what I'm talking about, <laughs> then stay tuned. And if you don't, stay tuned anyway, because you're going to learn something. All right, so this is a very impromptu video, but it is something that needs to be said. And I'm going to be speaking in code because the powers of B do not like when you use certain words. Gotta love freedom, right? Freedom of speech. So <laughs> I saw a tweet the other day, just recently, and it said this. The rule is now simple. Get this or wear a mask until you do. The choice is yours. It was from the highest level of our government, if you, if you know who that is. And the thing is, is that we have been bullied a lot lately. And those of us who do not want this, um, which my husband told me to just use the word Voldemort. So um, if you don't want Voldemort, then you're told you're pretty much a second class citizen. And I've actually heard of segregation happening already in terms of um, at mass, um, which is just so wrong. Um, and then in other places, I can't remember if there's like stadiums, I think that were doing it in certain states. So, so we, we come to this, right? We come to this and you know, I'm a snitch without a star and maybe you're a snitch without a star and you're like, I want to go to the hot dog party. You know, like I want to go, I want to play. I want to go to Disneyland. I want to play ball, right? Or I want to go to a restaurant. I want to go to a I want to go to the hot dog roast. And so maybe we think, well, gosh, we should just go get stars too, right? And we're going to go in the machine and we're going to get our star. But hold up, okay? Because the star that we're talking about is an experiment. And if you have any kind of hesitation over being an experiment, then listen to that because that is your gut reaction. That's your conscience. That's my, the Holy Spirit. That is grace stopping you. And I'm holding my rosary while I speak because this is the only power that we need. This is the only weapon. This is the only protection that we need. Because as Mother Mary said in Medjugorje, life is but a blink. And we don't hold on to our life physically. Now we, we stay healthy. There's lots of things we can do to stay healthy. We can get outside, we can get vitamin D, zinc, and magnesium. We can do lots of things, you guys, to stay healthy, especially mentally and emotionally, because um, those are huge, huge components of our immune system. But this is not something we have to do to stay healthy. Now, if you choose to do it, that's your choice, and I'm not judging you at all, but I hear almost daily from people who are being bullied into getting Voldemort without actually desiring it or people who've already unfortunately already had this happen so I want you to take a deep breath and stop and do not do something because you think something else is going to happen in the future don't go get Voldemort because you think that your freedoms are going to be taken away don't go get Voldemort because you think you're going to lose a job don't go get Voldemort because you think your family is going to say you can't come around us or that you're going to get segregated or persecuted or anything. If something is telling you to stop, then you listen to that voice and you stop and do your research and do, you know, critical thinking. This is a short term tactic right here, especially with the masks, right? It's a short term tactic to bully people into doing what they want and there's so much money behind this so much money and there's so much invested and there's so much control and those are things that are not of God and so when something is that heavily not of God we need to step back and say what's really going on here and it's okay you guys blessed are the persecuted if we are persecuted for a short time or even a long time as Mother Mary says life is a blink God will take care of you financially. You don't need to worry about money. Pray your Divine Mercy Chaplet every day. Ask God to take care of you. He will take care of you. Ask everything through Mother Mary because 
Oh my gosh, you guys know I love St. Alphonse's Liguori's The Glories of Mary. I'll put the book up here and pretty much so many saints have heard dialogue between Jesus and his mother and Jesus is like in my justice I can't answer that prayer but when they the same prayer is prayed to Mary he's like I can't deny you anything and so if we consecrate ourselves to Mary if we pray our rosary we will be heard we will be answered mother Mary does not neglect her children so that is one thing you can do right now is stay very, very close to Mother Mary. Hide in her mantle and say, the world has gone crazy, but I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to get Voldemort. And so if you don't want to get Voldemort, then just know that you don't have to, okay? Until even, I mean, really, you never have to because there's always a choice. Even if that choice is death, then you're a martyr, right? Like, it's okay. So... Um, if you think I'm being extreme, that's fine, but honestly, I just don't want to be an experiment. I don't want my kids to be an experiment. Really, we know too little on one side, and I know too much on the other side to allow myself or my family to be an experiment. So, just my message to you is pause. Don't go forward. Take a breath. Say a rosary. And if, if you think that getting Voldemort is the way to go, then that's fine. Go for it. You just need to understand that the bullying and the and the the fear tactics, this is all stuff that has come before. This is I can't say the C word, but you guys know, like this is this is not, you know, with the military moving in, but it is it's a different kind of control and it's it's almost more powerful. So um because because it's hidden and it's soft. And it affects us on a daily level. I was listening to a talk, I'm going to put it down below, um, by um, Father Heilman and Father Altman and Doug Barry on U.S. Grace Force. It's an amazing talk. I'm going to put it down below. And then I was, I was also listening to another talk. I can't remember who it was. But he was saying that people that had grown up in Russia at one point thought that this was harder. Because there's so much isolation. And that's crazy, right? But they said it feels harder harder it feels more oppressive than Russia back when so just know that this is hard that life is hard right now but you were made for such a time as this so just stay on the narrow path always be ready to meet our maker always be ready for for it to be judged right and just know that that we have a choice you always have a choice there's freedom and choice even if it ends up being like looking like you're not free, there is freedom in choice. So you guys, let's pray in Ave Maria that we all stay really close to Mother Mary right now. Grab your rosaries, wear your rosaries, pray your rosary daily. This is our weapon. This is our plea to Mother Mary. And you guys, like I said, life is a blink, but eternity is forever. So let's remember that when we go through these trials. And just know that God is all good and all loving and all powerful. And he's right there with you. So we have nothing to fear. He's in the boat. He's sleeping, but he's in the boat right now. So we can't fear. Okay, here we go. In the name of the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena dominus tecum. Benedicta tu mulieribus, et benedictus frutus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nuc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You guys, have a beautiful day. Again, this is the story for our time right now. If you are a snitch without a star, just know that God loves you. All right, you guys, have a blessed day, and I will talk to you again real soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.